Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to Cloud Kingdom where as you can see now, we now have actual rendered clouds. So not only do we have basically fully rendered clouds, we also have several new graphical effects now in Yuzu Emulator. For example, when you spin and do a hat throw, you now have the little stars and the little rainbow trail that gets left behind by Cappy. Now you can also see, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on the video, but you can see that these roaming little bits of fog that happen over these dunes in Cloud Kingdom are also rendered. You can see it kind of better if we come over here, you can see the cloud and fog moving across the landscape. Now we do still have the weird instance rendering bug that we can turn on and off by using screenshot mode. This still hasn't been fixed and unfortunately at this point in time, the soft locks when transitioning from one scene to another are also still not fixed. So performance wise, you can probably tell that it is also awesome. I am running in the docked mode in this video and usually when I run in docked mode, I get about 20 frames per second lower, but in Cloud Kingdom right now, I'm running docked and I'm getting basically a locked 60 FPS. Graphically, they have also fixed an issue, I believe, with cube maps. So you can see that reflections on objects with sheen and shine are much, much better. So to get a better look at the rendered clouds, I'm just going to jump over here. So throw Cappy, jump, throw him again, and jump, and throw... Oh no, I messed it up. Okay, so jump. And once we arrive at this platform, you can see that the clouds are much better represented. Now there is a weird bug with the shadows. You can see that it's like the shadows are out of sync or something. You can see it kind of better. Hold on. If, let's see if this cloud actually comes over Mario. Yeah, let's look at the shadow when this when this cloud drops down and you're going to see it's like out of sync or something. But yeah, it's just it's just really weird that the shadows are still not rendered. Now. It's not the biggest issue and it's definitely not the most pronounced issue with the graphics in Mario Odyssey at this point in time, but uh, it's just something cool that I, uh, I thought I'd point out at this point in time. Now, not only is it Cloud Kingdom that has seen an improvement, but there has also been an improvement in several other kingdoms too. Let's just take a look at one more example. So here we are in, this is Darkest Kingdom, and you can see that the color has almost been perfected in this area. Now, obviously render quality isn't the best, but to be honest, it is still way, way better than any of us should be expecting at this point in time in an emulator as young as this. Another thing that I want to show you guys is that when you come to the very front of the band, Mario will now dance and no longer will be T-posing like he previously was in earlier versions of Yuzu Emulator. So yeah, it's kind of buggy, the dance, due to the fact that we're at lower frame rates. If I turn my camera and try to get a higher frame rate, you'll see that it will kind of fix itself, but it still is super, super buggy due to the fact that we're not getting a locked 60 FPS in this area. So yeah, it's still, it's just really cool to see these, uh, these graphical improvements from day to day, and and uh, hopefully you guys aren't getting too sick of me covering Super Mario Odyssey. As with Breath of the Wild, I cover that very extensively because it was just a game that I really, really liked. And um, yeah, I just, I, I want to cover every single little graphical update that we get in this game. And uh, if you're interested in getting those kind of updates, stay tuned to the channel because there's definitely going to be lots more. Also in the coming day or so, hopefully it will be done tomorrow. I am going to be doing a compatibility guide for lots and lots of games for Yuzu emulator. So if you want me to test any games on this Nintendo Switch emulator, just let me know down in the comments of this video. And uh, if I can test it, I will do so. So once again, guys, cheers for checking out the video. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.